क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज अ बॉम्ब एट रेस्ट एक्सप्लोर्स इन टू थ्री पार्ट ऑफ मास इन द रेशियो वन इज टू वन इज टू टू दिटी ऑफ द टू पार्ट ऑफ इक्वल मास इमीजिएटली आफ्टर एक्सप्लोजन आर माइनस टू वी आई कैप एंड वी जे कैप रिस्पेक्टिवली द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द थर्ड पार्ट इज नाउ डे स्टूडेंट्स सिंस इनिशियली द बॉम्ब वॉज एट रेस्ट दे फोर द इनिशियल मोमेंटम ऑफ द सिस्टम वॉज जीरो and since there is no net external impulsive force that is acting on the system therefore the final momentum should also be equal to zero let us represent the masses as m m and 2m as per the ratio which is given in the equation we can write the final momentum as m into minus 2v i cap plus m into v j cap plus 2m into v1 vector this should be equal to 0 dear students on solving this equation we get v1 vector to be equal to v i cap minus v by 2 j cap and hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 4 now dear students Let us now proceed to the question number seven. Question number seven says a 500 kg horse pulls a sleigh, which is a cart without wheels of mass 1500 kg, along a level road with an in acceleration of two meter per second square. If coefficient of friction between the sleigh and the ground is 0.2, then horizontal force exerted by ground on horse is. Now, dear students. let us try to visualize this system there's a horse which applies a certain force in the backward direction on the ground the ground according to the third law of motion applies a certain force in the forward direction on the horse let that force be f we have to find out this force only with the horse there is a sleigh that is being connected and due to friction there will be a kinetic friction that applies on this sleigh that will be equal to mu m g where m is the mass of the sleigh and capital m is the mass of the horse we can write as per the newton second law that f is equal to ma that f minus mu mg should be equal to small m plus capital m into a where a is the acceleration of the system which is given to be equal to 2 meter per second square on substituting the values we can write f minus 0.2 into 1500 g which is taken to be equal to 10 should be equal to 1500 plus 500 into acceleration that is 2 now dear students on solving this equation we get the value of f To be equal to seven thousand newtons, and therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number one, which says seven thousand newton forward as the force is being applied forward only. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the question number eight. Question number eight says a block released from top of a smooth inclined plane of inclination theta. reaches the bottom with speed v if the angle of inclination of plane is doubled then the speed of the block at the bottom will be assume length of the incline is same in both cases now dear students let us visualize this system as per the question there is an inclined plane and of the inclined plane the angle of inclination is theta let us assume that the length of the inclined plane is l a block is being released from top of an inclined plane and allowed to slide down now the students as the block slides down a smooth inclined plane its acceleration is equal to g sin theta using the equation that v square is equal to u square plus 2as we can write down the velocity at the bottom would be equal to under root of 2 g sin theta into l now the students 
if theta is replaced by 2 theta that is the angle of inclination is doubled we can write down the new velocity v1 to be equal to under root of 2g sin 2 theta into l now dear students we can further simplify it and write that v1 is equal to 2g 2 sin theta cos theta into l as sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta. Dear students, herein we can further write down that this will be equal to under root of 2g sin theta into l multiplied by under root of 2 cos theta. We know that the first term is actually equal to v and therefore we can write that v1 is equal to v multiplied by under root of 2 cos theta and hence therefore the correct answer for this question turns out to be option number 4. Now dear students let us proceed to the further question which is question number 9 in the test. Question number 9 says the system of two blocks as shown in figure below is pushed by a horizontal force f on a smooth horizontal surface. The coefficient of friction between blocks is mu. The minimum force f required to prevent slipping between the blocks is. Dear students, if the blocks aren't slipping with respect to each other, we can assume them to be a common system of total mass 2m. The acceleration of these blocks would be equal to total force that is f divided by total mass that will be 2m. Now, on the smaller block, let the normal being applied be n then here n will be responsible for providing this particular acceleration to this block. We can write n to be equal to m multiplied by a that is m multiplied by f by 2m that is equal to f by 2. Now dear students on this block there will be also a weight that will be equal to mg that would try to pull down this block. However there would be a friction which will be vertically upwards that would try to balance this weight and prevent the slipping of this block with respect to the larger block. Herein, we can write down mg to be equal to friction which will be equal to its limiting value mu n because we have to find out the minimum value of f, we are taking the limiting value of friction. Now dear students, n is equal to f by 2, so therefore friction would be equal to mu f by 2. If we equate it by mg we get f to be equal to 2 mg by mu and therefore dear students the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Now dear students let us proceed to the question number 10. Question number 10 says a horizontal force f acting on a block of mass 1 kg varies with time t in second as f is equal to 2 by 9 t cube newton. If coefficient of friction between the block and surface is mu is equal to 0 0.2, then the frictional force acting on the block at t is equal to 3 seconds will be. Now dear students, before proceeding with this question, let us try to find out the limiting value of the friction in this case, which would also be equal to the value of kinetic friction as a single value of coefficient of friction is given. We assume that the static coefficient of friction and the kinetic coefficient of friction are same. It would be equal to mu mg that is mu n specifically but however n is equal to mg here. On substituting the values we write 0 0.2 into 1 into g that is 10 therefore 2 newton. Now dear students we have to find out the friction at t is equal to 3 seconds. Substituting the value t is equal to 3 in expression of f that is f is equal to 2 by 9 t cube we get f to be equal to 6 newton. Now dear students since this force is greater than the limiting value of the frictional force and hence this sliding of the block will happen and the kinetic friction is equal to 2 newton. And this would be our answer. And therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this question should be option number 2. 
Now let us proceed to the question number 11. 